eco servers die for a variety of reasons, but there's no better way than destruction by your own hand, and no better reason than to make room for a brand new, fresh start. There's a lot of things planned for this new season six, multiple cities, my own Atlantean project, and a new agriculturally based economy, and giveaways. So stick around, it all kicks off with this episode. By the hand of Dad, the mighty meteor was called down from the skies above, with the sole purpose being to give this world a fitting and respectful end to months of enjoyable gameplay for its citizens. The initial explosion is pretty impressive, but it's the fallout afterwards that's going to do the main part of the destruction. Taking out whole chunks of buildings, charring trees and killing plants on a fairly wide scale. The only thing that seems to be doing well is where the animals are involved. They're scared, perhaps, but at least initially not completely wiped out. I've always wanted to bring back a world after the meteor destruction. I think it's possible, but a lot of people say the physics of the planet and its performance get really tilted after the meteor. I'd like to see it for myself sometime though, and maybe I will. But this meteor was purely to bring an end to the season and make way for a brand new season six. Season six brings a lot of new plans. The first or primary government of the planet is going to encourage secondary or even tertiary cities to spring up on the planet and potentially provide competing economies and trade. We're also gonna try to base the world's currency on a kind of agrarian society that potentially brings some of the skills like farming, gathering, and fertilizers all up to par with a lot of the ore-based skills like mining and smelting. But to start, I need to get my own self settled a little bit first. You'd think after all the hours I've played eco and all the servers I've participated in, I'd have a really great method of starting out in the game. And I definitely know what kind of starting locations work best based on the skills I'm gonna select, but this is where I got a little stumped this season. To promote the maximum amount of trade, dad speed prohibits taking skills that feed into each other. I've talked about this a lot in other videos and probably will give it a lot of details this season, but for now, I was a little stumped about where I should really start. Here's what I was thinking. I'm going to try a new build project this season, the Atlantean project, an underwater home and primary base of operations. It was also going to be one of perhaps several underwater government hubs, supporting government projects such as sanitation disposal, maybe an electric power generator station. Those are all undetermined because sometimes the server world just follows its own path, but that's part of the idea. To get at least my own part of the underwater city going, I needed to get underwater. So I figured I'd try this. Start my downward nicely sloped tunnel a bit inland to the beach, and by the time the tunnel hit the water, I'd be well submerged and could see what I needed to do from there. I also didn't want to be too distantly remote from other players, but also not in the main part of town, and for trade reasons, wanted to be on one of the initially planned major roadways. This location in the grasslands would do nicely. It also had a pillar of dirt and stone I could build up against and start my tunnel without having to use up a lot of resources to enclose the tunnel. There were also another couple good reasons about the grasslands and this location. The grasslands contain limestone and sandstone, both highly desirable stones, and you can also find coal deposits. Looking around, I was also near some trees because you can't live on just rocks alone, at least not in the beginning and I could see some granite from a little ways away. And with a little luck, when I dug towards the ocean, I'd also be able to pick up a little sand from the beach. So that kind of settled it. I would start by taking up masonry and go from there. The masonry would allow me to build my underwater tunnels and begin my Atlantean city, as well as get a starter workshop and maybe a little house going until I could get my aquatic house established. And besides, I love the masonry skill. 
Some may think it's kind of limited, as the mortared stone can lose a lot of its flavor pretty shortly into the game, but they made several changes to masonry, I believe starting in 9.0. One was to combine it with the cement creation, so it could come back into the game as a tier 3 material. And the introduction of Ashlar stone products made the mortar, created mainly by masons, relevant to the very late stages of the game. So masonry is good, in my opinion. The beginnings on this server would start almost like any other, eating burnt food and trying to cobble together a workshop that would also house a first store. I almost forgot to mention another nice thing about the grasslands and masonry. This area was teeming with bluestem. You saw in a prior video how bluestem grass produces the highest yield of plant fiber over other types of grasses, and I can use that to make mortar on the campfire until I can get my mason's table and its room set up. My last couple playthroughs were mainly in the jungle, and even though I've always liked being a little near the grasslands, it's been a good while since I was completely settled in a shop like this one here, which is a good thing about Eco. All you have to do is change one little thing to alter the experience a bit. So a little bit of hewn log and a little bit of mortared stone and bam, the workshop and store. I should point out that even though you can use plant fiber or wood pulp to produce mortar on the campfire, it doesn't contribute to your skill progression, like making mortar on the mortaring table or in the bakery oven. The campfire is just a stopgap measure, so you should get that mortaring table up and running as soon as you can. Another thing you should try to do sooner than later is to start trying all kinds of different foods. One of the latest game updates introduced the concept of favorite foods, and the only way you can really know which foods your character likes best is to try them. So I started buying or charring different foods to see what I like best. So far, everything I had eaten was okay, but I wanted some really good or delicious food. There are five ranks of foods that you can like, so okay was just that, it was okay. As it turns out, it seems that I really liked eating things made with ferns. Who knew? But I'll need to keep testing things out because eating too much of any one thing, even something that I find delicious, will have a diminishing effect. The tunnel to Atlantis was getting underway, and for now, I was just making it usable for carts, which might be a mistake, but it's what I'm doing anyway. I'd rather get to the ocean and see what I've got to work with first. And this tunnel excavation is also providing me with a regular supply of stones for my house. Yes, I needed to get a few more skill points trickling in for housing. So a second story apartment, complete with a bathroom, was in the making. I know it's kind of a pitiful attempt at housing, but it's something. And I'm also a little busy laying the groundwork for the new global currency. I'm trying something a good bit different this season and basing it on that agriculture I mentioned, so it's requiring a bit more thought and planning. I'm pretty sure I'll be covering this in detail in my next eco video, because it utilizes a lot of different skills that all work together, so it should get some special attention all to itself. I'm also having a giveaway for a free copy of eco, courtesy of the Dadspeed Administrators. To enter, all you have to do is provide a comment on this video. For the next four weeks, I'll be running this giveaway, so you can watch each video I produce and provide a comment on each one for multiple chances to win. And it may not even be an eco video. I'm also enthralled with space engineers, and Dadspeed hosts a server there as well. So depending on what I get hooked on, it could be either one. We're gonna make it to the ocean. Like and subscribe to see how it goes, and I'll be talking to you later.